Uh, like I said before, um, DNA is uh, basically a form of digital information. Um, instead of like uh, binary, where it's made up of two characters, basically one and zero, um, DNA is a four-character system made up of uh, nucleotides um, uh, represented uh, with the letter A, T, C, and G for the four characters. And um, this has made uh, the biosciences um, more and more into a computer science in the field of bioinformatics where now that they have a lot of uh, sequencing data from these various uh, genomes from different organisms um, using the same technique that I uh, referred to earlier, DNA sequencing, and they use the same same technique um, on, but on a much larger scale for uh, sequencing the billions of nucleotides that that are within a organism's uh, genome. and. Um, they have sequenced many uh, genomic sequences now, human and chimps and mice and rats and fruit flies and nematodes, um, as well as a number of others, um, all that uh, are within various databases that um, are available to um, the public if you just so happen to know what website to go to and how to use these uh, uh, databases. Um, you can use different uh, computer programs um, some of which I would like to talk about um, in other videos as well is uh, you can actually compare these genomic sequences and you can actually see the similarities and the um, differences that these different organisms have within their DNA. Um, a lot of this, uh, uh, this information um, does seem to agree with the evolutionary model of how everything is uh, uh, descended from a common ancestor. Um, and um, this is another aspect that I would like to kind of talk about in future videos as well, of just what all of this information means. Um, in the uh, public mind, um, this has... Uh, not a lot of people really understand what this means when they talk about how 30% of the human genes is shared in in uh, nematodes or something like that where people don't really understand what that means where they're not identical these genes if you look at the sequence there's a lot of uh, parts of the sequence that are very different but when you actually look at um, the amino acid sequence that basically the DNA sequence of a gene uh, what it codes for is the amino acid sequence and that amino acid sequence um, the uh, well basically a, an amino acid uh, a long chain of amino acids is referred to a as a um, polypeptide or a protein and this the, this protein folds into a three-dimensional structure and it's this structure and the function of this protein that are the same that they share the same function or very very similar function in these different organisms and that's kind of what we refer to as genes that are you know the same in different organisms and these um, these proteins um, that are similar amongst the, in, that all organisms share um, is what makes the use of model organisms such as nematodes and fruit flies so useful is because we can get some insight into what these genes are doing in our own bodies by studying something that's a lot easier and more ethical to study um, such as fruit flies and nematodes and different things like that. Um, so a lot of these things I'd like to talk about in, in future videos. Um, so uh, I guess stay tuned for that. Um, also another thing I'd like to just kind of touch on um, basically, the, my main goal for a lot of these videos is just um, is to get people to understand well, not not just the science, um, but just the other people's arguments as well. Um, I'm in interesting in understanding the other side too, um, and 
the best way to understand one side or the other is to read up on the other person's sources. Um, so in a lot of my videos I would like to add a lot of supporting um, information, a lot of other resources that you can go and look up, um, mainly in the form of uh, information from textbooks, uh, textbooks that I've mainly used for my own education. Um, and uh, textbooks are usually a good place to start for, you know, at least getting to understand the basic concepts of a lot of these things. But, but also that a lot of these textbooks is just made up of, you know, it's, it's kind of like a summary of all of the other uh, scientific papers that have looked at various pieces of these, of of the puzzle, if you will, of these different ideas. And it's the the textbooks that basically puts it all together. So it makes it a lot easier for. Uh, somebody who's learning for the first time to understand what it means rather than going back and reading all these papers and trying to understand what the techniques that they're using to understand these these various concepts. Um, so not only is it a good place to start to just get the basic concept, but then it, at the end of these chapters in these textbooks it also has a long list of the actual papers that they get this information from. So when you when you read some of this information in these textbooks you can actually go back and look up some of these papers and um, I would also like to show some videos on, on how you can actually look up some of these papers and l take a look at them for yourself um, also I'd like to for some from others for some other stuff I'd like to talk about where I can not just show you textbook uh, uh, references but also references to actual papers themselves um, as well as any other information that um, that I could find that I, I find might or that I think that might be useful for you to to check out. Um, also, I'd like to ask if if anybody um, comments or wants to send me a message about any of this information, um, if they have criticisms or they uh, want to learn more, um, or if they've heard of any um, contrary um, ideas to what I've presented. Um, and you want to share them with me or, or anyone else. Um, I'd also like to ask you to um, uh, post up the um, source of where you're getting your information from. If, if there's a website, put up the link, um, or a, you read it in a book or something like that. Um, it, I find it really useful if you could um, include where you um, first or where you've gotten your information from. Um, because it helps me to understand um, basically where your argument is coming from and um, I want to understand uh, everybody's side of things and as well as to explain to people um, how we do science and um, how we come to these conclusions that we do so um, stay tuned <laughs>